friends and welcome once again to our 10 days of prayer. We are on day 3 and today we are looking at every morning and every evening. The cadence of life or the rhythm of life. Before we start, let us bow our heads for a moment of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you once again for giving us the breath of life. In this day, as we go forward, we pray that you will be with us. And in this short time that we spend together, we pray that you will speak to us through your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Dear friends, for our devotion, we read from 1 Chronicles 23, verse 30. Stand every morning to thank and praise the Lord, and likewise at evening. A reading of 1 Chronicles 23 reveals that God commanded the Levites to stand in His presence, lifting their voices in thanksgiving and praise to Him every morning and every evening. This devotional exercise originated in another imperative that God gave Moses when He asked the Israelites to make Him a sanctuary that He may dwell among them, according to Exodus chapter 25, verse 8. God further enjoined, One lamb you shall offer in the morning, and the other lamb you shall offer at twilight. Exodus 29, verse 39. Israel's life was meant to be lived between two daily foundational spiritual experiences, morning and evening sacrifices. God's people were to begin and end each day with Him. They were never to take His saving grace for granted. They needed God's power to protect them from the outward threats. As they were wandering through the wilderness, they had to ask God's leading every morning, thanking God that He was with them the previous night, but that He will be with them during the day. Also, they had to thank God that He has been during, be with them during the day before they retire in the evening. The morning and the evening sacrifice were God's way of laying down a devotional pattern for Israelite individuals and families to follow, a way of keeping them in right relationship with Him. We read from Patriarchs and Prophets, page 353 to 354. As the priests, morning and evening, entered the holy place at the time of incense, the daily sacrifice was ready to be offered upon the altar in the court without. This was a time of intense interest to the worshippers who assembled at the tabernacle. Before entering into the presence of God through the ministration of the priest, they were to engage in earnest searching of heart and confession of sin. They united in silent prayer, with their faces towards the holy place. Thus their petitions ascended with a cloud of incense, while faith laid hold upon the merits of the promised Savior, prefigured by the atoning sacrifice. The hours appointed for the morning and the evening sacrifice were regarded as sacred. And they came to be observed at the set time of worship throughout the Jewish nation. And when in later times the Jews were scattered as captives in distant lands, they still had the appointed hour, turned their faces towards Jerusalem and offered up their petitions to the God of Israel. In this custom, Christians have an example for morning and evening prayer. 
while God condemns a mere round of ceremonies, without the spirit of worship, he looks with great pleasure upon those who love him, bowing morning and evening to seek pardon for sins committed and to present their requests for needed blessings. Dear friends, how is your devotional life today? How was your devotional life in the past year, 2022? Did you call upon the family to come and worship together? Short reading of God's word, praying together in the morning for the day and in the evening before everybody retires. If this is not what you have done in the past, we would like to invite you to start morning and evening devotions once again in your family circle. If it is only you yourself and nobody with you, please start that early morning and before we retire. If you have a family, only a spouse, come together, pray together. This will not take place without you doing your personal devotion as well. But come together as a family and pray to God as a family as well. Before we go over to the season of prayer, we are also going to request you to once again remember after we are finished here, you go into a season of prayer yourself or with your friends. Firstly, to praise and thank the Lord for what he has done for you. Secondly, confession of sins. Thirdly, for guidance of the Holy Spirit. Please do not forget the world church and the leaders and the work that the church is doing. Also, bring the petitions of your local church to the throne of grace. And then when you are finished, Listen and respond to God's voice and then act upon what He is telling you. Today, we are going to pray through 1 Chronicles 23, verse 30. Stand every morning to thank and praise the Lord and likewise at the evening. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, you call us to stand before you. You call us to come every morning and thanking you for a good night's rest. That your hand of blessing, that your hand of keeping us safe was over us. Father, you call upon us to stand in the evening to think back on the day that has passed how you have led us, how you have protected us. And Father, then you call upon us to thank you and praise you for what you have done for us. Father, we so often forget to thank and praise and we just want to bring our list of prayer requests to your throne of grace. But we want to thank you. We want to honor you. We want to praise you for what you have done for us during the previous nights. During this day, we know you are going to be good to us. We want to thank the creator of heaven and earth that is there for us, only a prayer away. But your hand is never leaving us. Your protection is never leaving us. And we want to say, thank you, Lord. Let us return every morning and every evening to return the altar which we worship and praise you. This we pray in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless friends and remember to come and worship every morning and every evening. Thank you for joining us once again.